September baseball has come to sunny and beautiful and even a little bit warm San Diego. The San Francisco Giants are here with Matt Chapman under a new contract ready to lead them into town against Manny Machado and the San Diego Padres. The Padres atop the National League wild card. That's nothing new. They've been up there for most of the year. The Giants though have gone from right there to fading away seven and a half back right now. Here is Michael King who's had a very nice year on the mound for the Padres. Absolutely. He's been absolutely outstanding especially the second half of the season. One hundred and seventy seven K's. That's fifth in the National League. Tough loss for them last night as Mike Yastrzemski leads off on the first pitch. It's a bouncing ball to the second baseman. Xander Bogarts quickly the first for the out on Yastrzemski. As he yes. ties up Ramos for strike three. <laughs> check that baseball. Not supposed to move like that, Wayne. That's absolutely nasty. Three and two on Conforto. And a bouncing ball hit weakly to the right side. Bogarts comes in to make the play and end the inning. Efficient for Michael King in the top of the first. One, two, three. And here's another rookie on the mound for the Giants. They've had so many rookie pitchers this year, and Mason Black is another. Yeah, young man coming off his best outing against the Marlins where he went five innings, just allowing this two year. runs. As Luis Arise floats one to shallow right, Yastrzemski can't get it. It's a base hit to start the game, and what else is new? Luis Arise with the base hit. And balled in two strikes on Tatis. As he lines one up the middle, that's a base hit. Arise to second, the Padres in business early. Two on with nobody out. Here's Jerks and Profar slumped a little bit lately. He's two for his last 28, but he is still the National League's leader in on base percentage. That's and he hits this one in the air to right center field. It's medium depth as Yastrzemski moves over, takes over, and makes the catch. Runners are tagging. The throw goes toward third. It's cut off for the second. He's in the right field, and that will score two runs. Arise comes in. Tatis right behind him. A mistake from the Giants and a 2 0 Padre lead. That's such a big important play because that young man is still one pitch from getting out of there and putting up a zero. And instead it's two and here's Machado as he lifts one out to left. That one's going to go. Manny Machado is 162nd homer in a Padre uniform. That is one off the all-time franchise lead. 24th of the year for Manny. He now stands alone second place all-time on the franchise home run list. And the Padres have a 3-0 lead. Yeah, well, if you... You're the Giants. If you look at the struggle. Fly ball short to left field. Oh, let the platinum glove guy take it. Huh? <laughs> and it was Chapman who made the catch, bumping into Fitzgerald. And that's the first out here in the second. Now he swings and misses. Strike three. First ball swinging. A rise lifts the fly ball into left center. Over to his right. McCray. Makes the grab just like that. The inning is over. Mason Black got into some trouble in the first. The error didn't help. What are you seeing from him? No, I mean, you just got to locate a little better. Missing made some bad misses at times. A lot of times in the first inning, it's tough for a starter to get into his rhythm. Looked a little better that inning, but you're right. The error didn't help. We're seeing a lot of young guys in your roster right now. McCray, Luciano, even Fitzgerald. What do you hope to get out of that group in this next month? Just development and find themselves at the big league level. You're going to see some mistakes at times that some of these guys are pretty talented. Just about finding themselves and getting confident at the big league level. San Francisco relying on some players right now that haven't had a lot of big league experience. As Luciano taps one down the first base side. Cronenworth handles that. Eight up, eight down so far for King. Here's Grant McCray. Remember Jung Hoo Lee is out. He's been out for most of the season, but they expect him back next year getting a big free agent contract. And he loops one toward left center field. The Giants have their first hit. They rave about McCray's speed, and obviously you can see the bat to ball skills being able to take that sinker. Runner at first, McCray will get a head start on the 3 2 pitch. And it swung on a miss for strike three. It was the changeup to win the inning. Michael King has fanned four and three scoreless innings for the Padres. Mason Black down in the zone. It's against Tatis, and he strikes him out. That is the second strikeout for Black tonight. Mason's starting to feel a little more confident. He's starting to get a little soft contact, some soft fly balls. So actually, has a brother named Dixon Black. Mason and Dixon, they're named after the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> We're here all week, folks. I didn't know that. There's something new at Weezy every every week. <laughs> this is McCray making the catch on a pop up. Only one player in Major League Baseball is currently on a team in which he is that team's all time home run leader, Mike Trout. He strikes out here against Black, who works a 1 2 3 inning. So Mason Black has settled in. He's retired eight straight, but it's still 3 0 Padres. For Elliot Ramos, first pitch swinging in the fourth. 
A leadoff single, first time tonight. This is Matt Chapman, who struck out his first time. Lines this one to left field. That's a base hit. The Giants with a couple of base hits here in the fourth inning, which means they'll bring the tying run to the plate. And Michael King has to face a bases loaded chance here with Patrick Bailey coming up. Bailey battling with the bases loaded, and he turns on one, hits it on the ground to second base. Bogarts has it, an easy out to end the inning. So King on the line in the fourth, leaves the bases loaded. Bogarts on deck, then Merrill. 3-2 pitch is strike three called. The belt high fastball, and Cronenworth very unhappy and gets right in the face of Corey Blazer. Home plate umpire. Really, that was a hittable pitch where you feel like if you're looking back on the tape, it's like I got to hit that ball forward. Now Bogart hits that one forward into the gap in right center field. Bounces all the way to the wall. It's extra bases for Xander Bogart. a one-out double. The first Padre hit since Machado's homer in the first. 3-2 pitch. And it's swung on and missed. He struck him out. And Mason Black, a fellow rookie, wins that long battle. A 10-pitch strikeout. There's a fly ball from Higashioka to left field. And right in front of the wall is Ramos to win the inning. Padres leave Bogarts at second. And it's still 3-0 into the fifth. Marco Luciano begins the innings. 0-2 to Luciano. And he takes strike three. Breaking ball on the outer third. And strikeout number five for Michael King. Here's the pitch to him. Swing and a line drive into left field, a base hit. And McCray jumped on it and drilled it for his second hit in a row. 2-2, two, two, swung one and missed strike three. This time a slider, six strikeouts now for Michael King. Two down to the fifth, a one pitch. Sent in the air, high down the left field line. Profar coming over, running out of room. He's got space though, and he makes the catch in fair territory. And Black, to his credit, has really settled in nicely since that arduous first inning in which the Padres scored three runs. And there's strike three called to McCoy. Mason Black's done a nice job now tonight. Six strikeouts shaking off a rough first inning. He showed me a lot of this is mental toughness. And Padres been on the corners back to back two out hits and we'll see if Bob Melvin wants to make a move here. A big spot has developed in this game. And Bob Melvin wants a fresh arm to face Manny Machado. The runner goes from first. Machado with a fly ball to right shallow. In comes Yastrzemski can't get it. It's a base hit. Tatis scores and Manny Machado's driven in his second run tonight. It's four nothing San Diego. They still have their starter, Michael King, on the mound with Michael Conforto set to lead off for the Giants. Swing, and there's a drive into deep right field. Way back there. Adios, Pelota. Michael Conforto plants one in the seats in right, and it's now 4 to 1, San Diego. So far tonight, the Giants have yet to get a hit with a man in scoring position. Bailey's turn here with two outs and Chapman at second. King sweating it out as Bailey strikes out to end the inning. Strong finish for Michael King. He ends up with eight strikeouts in six innings. This was earlier tonight. Merrill in his last at bat fouling a ball off the front of his leg. Yeah, this is a ball that's sinking down. He gets on the top half of that baseball and it goes right down the leg. And he was grimacing and trying to walk around and trying to walk it off. But ultimately, they just were crossing areas, taking him out, and hopefully he's okay. Well, here's Manny Machado. Machado hit a homer in the first inning. There's a drive out to left. Manny Machado has tied Nate Colbert for the most homers in Padre history. It was nearly 50 years ago today when Nate Colbert hit the last of his 163 home runs in a Padre uniform. And nearly a half century has gone by for someone to match that number. And that someone is Manny Machado. Two out, nobody on. Here is Bailey, 0 for 3 tonight. Games like tonight will help. This sellout crowd standing here with two out in the ninth inning. One and two, the pitch. Bailey swings and misses. Strike three and the ball game is over. Jeremiah Estrada comes out, works a one, two, three, ninth inning. And along with Morejon and Hoeing, they back up Michael King here tonight. Huge game for Manny Machado, a pair of home runs. 